the Birdman Rally, when people try and achieve humankind's longest held ambitions, taking to the skies. And this is me. The Birdman Rally is one of Australia's weirdest competitions. This is the Yarra River, and every year, crazy people, including myself, jump in trying to fly as far as they can on their own home-built flying machines. The goal, see how far they can go, do something silly, and raise a lot of money for a charity. And this is a guide on how to be a Birdman. The Birdman Rally dates back to the 1970s where it kicked off in the UK and was soon brought across to Australia and was held across the country, peaking in popularity in the 1980s. There it goes! Oh! A bit of a tail bump. And wherever the event was held, whether it was Perth or Glenelg, it was very much in a silly, fun and community spirit. There were different degrees of ambition. How long did it take you to make your flying fortress? Oh, about 10 minutes work. And there was also the occasional accident. What a brave man, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! But these days it's Melbourne that's home to the Birdman Rally as part of the Moomba Festival. The name Moomba is an unusual one. It's a local Aboriginal word which means let's get together and have fun. Or at least that's what the organisers of the event were told back in the 1950s. It turns out Moom actually means bum and ba means up or a joke. In this case, a joke on the organisers. Now that might sound like an urban legend, but historians and linguists agree. Moomba means up your bum. The first thing to do is sign up a few friends, head across to Bunnings and get working on your design. We hit up the plumbing aisle pretty hard and started assembling our seven metre long craft. Now I know that this project is as much about winning the crowd as it is about aircraft design. So to help in this I found a co-pilot at a second hand store, Dennis the Pink Bunny Rabbit. Now this was something that people could get behind. The other thing that you need to do is get over your fear of the Yarra River water. And the Yarra River isn't known for being too clean. In fact, you're not normally allowed to swim in it right here. Australia's most read newspaper, The Herald Sun, featured Dennis and I. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a bunny? Yes. Now I don't think that's normally how that quote goes, but it was great to get some publicity either way. And it wasn't just the paper, Breakfast TV got in on the action, I was joined by a girl guide group, and look how weird I look, just standing on the side there wearing serial killer gloves, and the pink bunny rabbit only makes things more creepy. I'm Julian, now your craft is too big to bring down here, talk us through it. So anyone that wants to see it has to come down on the weekend, it is 7 metres wide, so I couldn't bring it down this morning, but I could bring my co-pilot Dennis, <laughs> and Dennis and I, we're going to find out whether pink bunnies can fly, whether I can fly, and to raise some really, um, but some money for a really great cause, which is the Asylum Seeker Resource Centre. Alright, it is for a really great cause. Now it's worth taking a quick look at similar competitions around the world. The event continues to be a fun day out in the UK and has become a Red Bull competition, flug tag. But it's the Japanese that have really taken it to the next level. In Australia, the winning distance is often around 20 metres. In Japan, 60 kilometres. Yes, this event has been taken up by aeronautical engineering faculties at different universities who are creating exceptional human powered flying machines. Absolutely insane. And it's kind of remarkable that the event continues in this era of public liability and insurance concerns. But the council does work hard to make sure it's a safe event. They're in the water the day before the event, clearing anything you might land on. And on the day, there's rescue boats and divers in the water. The other way they keep it safe is some pretty tight rules about the aircraft design itself. No stored energy on board, you've got to be able to escape in a couple of seconds. So it looks like we're not going to be competing against the Japanese anytime soon. So the first challenge is how to move a 7 metre long DIY craft down to the river. And I recommend strapping it to the top of your tuk-tuk and heading down early enough not to cause any traffic dramas. And then it was time to jump. My time to fly. And make some noise for the unbound flyer, here he goes! <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't the most graceful of flights. And it is worth doing a replay to understand what really happened here. Now I'm not an aeronautical engineer, but I have been told that wings really should go out rather than up. But my opinions don't really matter, it's up to the expert judges to give their thoughts. Considering this was a fly, I think it was not that good, but I don't think the pink bunny can fly, I'm very sorry. But luckily my failure was just shared between me and the thousands of people alongside the banks of the river. 
That is until later that night when the ABC, the national broadcaster, shared this with the country. Well, back home, a Trojan warrior, a Star Wars TIE fighter and pink bunny rabbit have all tried and failed to fly across the Arrow River today as part of the annual Moomba Festival. And it wasn't just this shout out, watch how they finish this report. Let's just say that it's not the most flattering end for a news clip. The Birdman Rally started in 1976 and money raised from the event goes to charity. I'm Julian O'Shea. Thank you for watching me embarrass myself in front of thousands of people, national TV and now the internet. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more. That's it from me.